the final one would look like, which has been drying and we, you know, made this beautiful flower arrangement. Hi guys, my name is Chapa and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a flower vase using clay. What I really love about clay is that you can really make anything from flower vases to dishes, mugs. We need a little bit of clay. We'll need a rolling pin, kitchen tools. We'll have a Sharpie, a sponge, a pen, a needle tool. If you don't have that, you can literally use a toothpick. Scissors, clay cutter, snow block, but you can use any kind of fine sandpaper. Poster boards, any kind of paper, old magazines, newspaper, anything would do it. Coconut oil and some water. Rolling pin will be the most used tool. I actually use this as my mode. I just roll the paper on the rolling pin and make sure I have like three quarters, half an inch overlap. This will be the mold for the stem of the vase. I'll add the clay on top of the wood piece and basically I'll roll as if you're making pie. Um, for doing this for the first time, I'll really say don't be too scared of the clay because even if you mess up, you can kind of go back and do it again. My goal here is to really make the clay slab fit my mold. We want this clay slab to be about a quarter inch thick. I'll measure up. I think this could be, should be enough. I'll just hold it firmly and literally just go across with the point of the needle tool. This time the rolling pin will be the mode for the actual vase. I'll take a little bit of coconut oil. I'll use my hand. You can use a little spoon if you're gonna cook it with later. Don't put your dirty hands in, inside the thing. Um, and basically we're gonna coat the rolling pin. That should be enough. We're gonna make slip. Slip is what gonna Slip is what Oh my God. Slip is what's gonna join the seams of the vase. I'll get a little container. This clay is pretty dry. It's almost like a little bit harder than leather. Then with my sponge, I'll put a little bit of water and kind of just mix in. The slip is pretty much the glue for clay. To join any kind of seams, we need to score and slip. I'll take my needle tool or my toothpick and I'll basically like score the edge. It takes a bit of patience, but if you're a bit stressed out, it could be a good stress relief project. Okay, so I had some pre-made slip overnight and this is what it looks like. It's not chocolate mousse. Um, I'll put over the seam and then I'll score again. So it's score, it's slip and score and this is kind of gonna make the seams of your face a bit, a bit more resistant. We're gonna get our rolling pin with the coconut oil rubbed off. We're gonna roll the clay. Put my hand here, I'll just roll this lab into the rolling pin over the piece. So basically just try to touch more of the seam part and don't touch too much of the body. I'll just roll over. I will mark where my slab is gonna end. I'll roll it up. I'm just gonna literally mark it where the seams join. It does not have to look perfect right now. I'm gonna undo this part carefully, score the left edge just stick with it it clay it's not dried yet so we can pretty much shape and fix as we go oh. i scored this part i will again apply some slip <laughs> to the edge and i'm gonna score again pick up this lab and i'll basically just press it together it's gonna press the seam together turn the pin down and press the seam a little bit sure to like dunk in this, the sponge in water and just kind of press the water out so it's not like dripping wet and just clean up the seam. You see how the seams start to disappear. Level out this edge. This edge looks a bit thicker. So this will be my bottom. This will be my top. We put the coconut oil so we can slip the vase out. Start it from the top and literally pull it out. And basically I'll remove the pin I hold the base, ta-da, it's almost done. So basically, <laughs> come in with again, a wet sponge and just kind of wipe the top up. Don't press it too hard anywhere right now. So next up, it's my favorite tool. I'll do the same thing. You can roll this out a little bit thinner than a quarter, almost like a fat three eighths. Don't worry about like, oh, my scoring doesn't look pretty. Slip using my finger, leave about like a half an inch from the edge to your tool. So we can have, we can make a nice round uh, tip. Score, 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 score. And then press it. 
Basically, I want to transform the tip. I'm gonna press the edges together here and then we can cut it out with your needle tool. You can continue shaping this for a little bit. Use scissors for this so we can have a sharper cut. I want to kind of like an oval shape. So I'll just come in. So I'll let this rest next to the vase. The next thing we're going to make is a water spot. So basically the top of our stamp for the vase, this is a very special vase, is that we want it to fit perfectly in this hole. You can kind of just like roll it over, make it round, start pressing the top of it. And with your left hand or your right hand, just have one hand supporting the, the ball of clay and then just use your two fingers to pinch. I like to use a marker as almost like um, the size that I wanted to end up with and just make sure you can kind of like, oh, it fits. I'm gonna rotate the clay and pinch at the same time and try it out to see if it fits. So if it doesn't fit, you're gonna continue pinching. Oh. Remember guys, this is a water spout, so you gotta be pretty perfect. <laughs> try again. Voila, it fits. Almost kind of like a broccoli shape. So I'll cut off like a half an inch of the broccoli, press it out. You literally center. Just be careful not to go through the piece. Go around. You wanna make sure you have enough space in this part so that all the water can go through. So using my needle tool, make a hole in the middle of this piece. Support it with your hand without pressing too hard go through all the way then i'm gonna just kind of like open up a little bit so it look like something like this so we want to make sure the flower that will be placed in the stem of the vase gets also water three quarters of an inch from the left edge i'm gonna carve a hole support your piece go go through will look like something like this and we're gonna take this so it looks like a flute and now we're gonna make the base of the vase get some clay and we're gonna roll it out again for the base of the vase, I like to have a bit thicker than the wall, Double so it kind of has a bit of a support. If you encounter any kind of little bubbles in your clay, you literally take your toothpick or needle tool, pop them, and roll it again. I'll have a kind of like a round slab, whatever shape you end up with. So to pick up the vase, your hands can be dirty, but they cannot be wet. Use your both hands, kind of avoid pressing with your fingers but just kind of like with your hands place again the base of the vase i left to the kind of thicker edge i'll place on top of the half an inch slab just come around and like mark it and i'll cut with the toothpick this will be my base this will be my inside favorite activity is scoring and slipping same we'll do for the base where it fits best for the shape of the base before i commit go around lightly press just gently press it. I'm gonna turn this upside down. You might get edges like this, but that's totally fine. <gasps> Using the toothpick, go around and cut the edges, smooth it out. I like this shape, but not to look super generic. So basically we're gonna customize the vase a little bit. Oh my God! Find the seam, mark it about three inches down. I'll come with scissors, kind of just like, Cut it off. Then again, slip and score. So just the left part on the outside and then the left part on the, from the inside or the right part on the inside. I'll do the, the inside first and then again on the outside. So once you have your slip and score, using two hands, taper in, fold over and then gently press with your finger. We're gonna pick up the stamp back again. We want this part of the, the stamp to be inside of the vase. Higher you go, the more water you can put in the vase. You know, just kind of imagine, make a mark. I'm gonna use this as a guide for the hole that I'm gonna cut. You don't wanna go so hard that you're gonna, you know, cut the vase through the other sides, remove the piece. If the stamp fits in here. So if it doesn't fit, you can kind of press the edges a little bit and kind of like hose up and kind of like go in. Again, slip and score, score and slip all day long probably the most important part of the vase. Cut where I marked for a special flower vase. This part's removable, so the water spots is removable. You go back, you can kind of find the angle and then just mark up. And I want to slip and score towards the holes. Basically don't slip this way, otherwise you're gonna get shorter and shorter and might not fit. Just kind of go all around and I'm gonna slip this part. 
and then quickly I'm gonna score on top again. Place it, I'll find a cool angle. Make sure the holes are facing up. Come with, with the toothpick. So basically this is the sealing process. You can kind of just like smudge a bit with your fingers. I'm just gonna already score this portion of the piece. Almost the last time you're gonna do this. A little bit of clay, gonna make a coil. You can make it thinner. I just wanna make sure to really cover all this mess of slip and score. I'm gonna already slip and score these edges, forming a round shape. Score the ring. You wanna add this extra piece so you know the air can stay tight for your plants and also the water. You know, make sure you know where your seam is. And basically I'm gonna face that down and fit in. Press it lightly into the piece. Again, the slip is gonna do all the work and kind of glue it together. So make sure everything fits. Using the toothpick, you can literally just carve your name. Once you have it all set, you're gonna put your pieces all together. You're gonna place it in the oven standing. You can use an old baking sheet and put some aluminum foil. Place the piece in the cold oven. Turn it up to 250, don't do any higher than that. And basically, I'm gonna bake this for 30 minutes. Turn the oven off and just kind of let the piece in there so it kind of cools down. And this is what a flower vase, the final one would look like, which has been drying and we, you know, made this beautiful flower arrangement. You know, really nice. It's a great gift, like we said. Think about your mom. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chapa. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe and watch more episodes of the Blue print here in Chinatown Market. Can you smoke weed out of that? You can smoke weed out of that.